So hi there YouTube, today we're going to be taking a quick look to Fedora 16 Burn in its alpha release with KDE as the desktop environment. I wasn't going to record this video today, but finally decided to record it. So well, uh, sorry if you hear some noises, um, I have some family out there uh, watching TV. I'm also a train, so if you hear some noises, sorry for that. And well, uh, let's take a look to the feature list um, of Fedora 16, shall we? Fedora 16, as you can see here, is going to be a really cloud-oriented and server-oriented release. Um, it's going to have um, updates or or features such as Crony, Condor Cloud, uh, the Aulus Conductor UI, um, Gloster FS, Tiger BNC in the last version available, um, and built-in support for X4, uh, sorry, for X2 and X3 into X4. Also, a cool feature uh, for USB for USB control called the USB redirection in the network. Uh, and this um, this thing, uh, what what it does is that, for example, if you if you plug uh, one USB in one machine and then you have another machine in your network, you're going to be able to redirect that connection to the other machine. So that's great. All of that for uh, for server users and cloud users. No, for the final user, uh, we are going to have some updates such as the KDE 4.7 desktop, GNOME 3.2 desktop, also Grub 2 replacing Grub Legacy, as you can see up here, um, right here. Grub 2 replacing Grub Legacy, and the whole abstraction layer, the hardware abstraction layer is going to be replaced for. Um, for other systems, so that's great. Another step forward for Fedora. And well, um, Fedora, Fedora 16, yeah, as, it, as, it, as it is going to, to have KDE 4.7, um, it's going to, uh, and Group 2, it's going to to have um, a really cool feature called the, the KDM uh, Group 2 integration. So, for example, if you have a Windows 7 installation in your machine, and you have a Fedora 16 installation in that machine, you're going to be able to select the operating system within the KDM without uh, having to reboot the machine and select it in the group, so that's great. Um, just logging out your session and you're going to be able to move to the other operating system. Um, KDE 4.7 uh, for itself uh, does have a lot of, of cool updates. Uh, this thing here um, is it's rectangular now, but you can drag it. <laughs> you can drag it along the desktop, and and also, well, Dolphin is redesigned. So, for example, it looks cleaner. It kind of reminds me the the Nautilus Elementary by Manager. So you have here, uh, you don't have the mini bar, and you now have this global button here. So that's great. Um, also. Um, well, the whole desktop is really fast. Uh, it has a new composite uh, backend, which is, which is called OpenGLS. So with this backend, uh, KDE 4.7 is able to, to run in tablets and all of that cool devices. Uh, KWin have have been redesigned too, or at least the KWin manager. As you can see here, if I go to computer system settings and then desktop effects, <coughs> the system manager for for Kwin has been redesigned, so that's great. Um, what else? What else we have in 4.7? Well, as far as I can tell, uh, those are the, or as far as, far as far as I have in my list here, uh, those are the the more the most interesting features in KDE 4.7. The whole desktop is is faster, is lighter. And just just as I mentioned here, I have uh, KDE 4.7 running in Fedora 15 in my machine and just to be honest uh, Fedora 16 uh, is, st is more stable than my than my machine in Fedora 15 with KDE 4.7 so that's hilarious but well uh, the Fedora 16 installation is really rock solid uh, to be an alpha it's really stable, it's really fast, it's really powerful as far as I can tell um, that those are all the, the cool stuff about Fedora 16. Uh, oh well, uh, I forgot one thing. Uh, also, Fedora 16 is going to have uh, a cool feature that is going to be called the Trusted Boot Service. 
and it's something like the <coughs> like the service in the Chromebooks. For example, if you have a Fedora 16 machine, you are going to have this service, uh, which is a a security layer, uh, and basically uh, we basically what it does is that for example if you have if you have your machine and then for example it is compromised the trusted boot is going to to warn you because for example the machine i don't know how to explain this but the machine uh, has one state or has one image but for example uh, when a virus or a malware attack the machine uh, that, that image change and the trusted boot service uh, what it does is parse the images and compare it with the first installation and it the and if the the computer is compromised it warns you so that's great a trusted boot service for Fedora 16 um, KDE 4.7 have one one last thing to, to show for example if I go to applications games and then I want to return to applications I have this little menu here so well um, as far as I can tell um, those are the most interesting features of Fedora 16 and KDE 4.7 let's wait for the final release uh, I'm going to be doing videos for the beta and the final releases hope you guys like this video um, I have to go but well I hope you see you next time I hope you like it and see you next time bye <laughs>